My name is Anna Bertino, and I'm graduating today with a bachelor's degree in communication. Fellow graduates and guests, do you remember your first day at Mason? Getting lost in Robinson B? How the first two weeks felt like a street carnival between lectures? Things are pretty different now. Uh, for one thing, we're worrying about mask acne, but it's bigger than that. We're different people now. The issues we worried about on that first day of class are wildly different from our worries today. We changed our majors. We learned how to really study. We experimented with exactly how late to sleep in without being late to lecture. We were challenged both in and out of the classroom. We grew up. At George Mason, we became better people. Today, I wanna to take us down memory lane. I don't know everything, but I know Mason has shaped me in ways I didn't expect. For instance, I did not expect my childhood horse phase to turn into a defining leadership opportunity. Freshman year, I joined Mason's equestrian club. I quit the sport in high school after a bad experience and never saw myself riding in college. I found the club by chance at the 2018 Get Connected Fair and didn't look back. Part of my Mason experience has been weekends at the barn, pony slobber and all. Through this club, I learned more than horsemanship. I learned leadership. This year, I was president of the club. Each of us has benefited from the wide assortment of extracurriculars at Mason. Be it ballroom dancing or badminton, we all leave Mason as leaders. I'm also thankful for the diverse perspectives found at Mason. We've been in class with people from Syria, Spain, and South Carolina. I never expected to do a project with a peer from South Korea with granddaughters my age. I've also worked on projects with people who were fundamentally opposed to my points of view. Mason's multicultural classrooms have forced us to become more educated people. We're able to navigate our world more thoughtfully. Mason has prepared us for the future, come what may. As Maya Angelou once said, I can be challenged by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. George Mason has challenged us to learn from our mistakes. I once spent a semester working on a grant proposal with Professor Todd Stafford. I researched, wrote, and rewrote, and got rejected. I was frustrated. Professor Stafford cut to the heart of it. What can you learn from this? I wasn't used to thinking that way. One pandemic later, I know what we learned from every failure resilience. This last year serves as a stark example of our resilience as both students and professors adjusted. We are ready to take on any challenge. Our time at Mason is complete. The world is different now. Remote work has changed jobs. Your favorite restaurant may be gone. The way we learn and live has shifted. But change at its core is a good thing. We succeed when we adapt. Even though this last year and a half wasn't exactly on our vision boards, we still made it. We joined organizations and explored passions. We experienced diverse perspectives. We made lifelong friends. We learned to overcome. We step into the future knowing we are the best versions of ourselves.